Red Dot Jar is the definition of a nightmare. It's almost impossible to kill. Arrows bounce off it. It's immune to lava. And no matter where you run, it will always find you. So when I finally killed it, I thought that the nightmare was over. Oh, how wrong was I? Because today, I found out that Greg Dotjar, the mod that drove me half insane, got an update. And it is not that hard, actually. His name is Bregg. After I defeated Greg Dodger, I didn't want to play this update because truth be told, I was scared. As I was downloading, I looked it up to see if anybody had managed to defeat the elusive Bregg creature. And seriously, I could only find one result. I am Bregg, your f***ing companion. Yes. Clearly this kid is a god amongst men. And so I opened up the mod, hands trembling, timbers shivering, my fear level reaching almost 100%. And as the world loaded, I peeked through my fingertips and I realized... Bregg Dodger kind of sucks. <laughs> Before I show you how I killed Bregg, you first need to understand Bregg. This mod adds the creature Bregg, and I thought he was gonna chase me or something, but he's literally not even in the game. Look at this, he's gone. Anyway, in order to get the good ending of the Bregg Dodger mod, you have to banish Bregg to the underworld. And the way this works is exactly the same as how you banish Greg. You build the Greg totem, place a bucket of Bregg on top, and activate it with a combination of Bregg to eviscerate him from this world. I think this was supposed to increase the difficulty, because in order to gather Bregg souls, you need to combine four Greg souls with a bucket of lava, which sounds more difficult on paper, but in actuality, not really. For some reason, the updated version of this mod is worse and kind of way easier than the original. When I was playing it, I encountered a ton of bugs. Like in this world where Breg just killed himself, and one time, Breg didn't even spawn at all. Where, where, where is Breg? He just didn't spawn in this world. Where, where is he? I haven't seen any Gregs or heard any Greg noises. Breg isn't there. I've got a haunted version with no Gregs. This is impossible because in order to defeat the mod, you need to kill 12 Gregs. But I can't kill 12 Gregs. There isn't even one Greg. Greg, 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 Greg. Where is he? I must have broken it somehow. By far, one of the greatest glitches introduced in this mod is that your items don't even corrupt anymore. In the original version, before Greg, your items will become corrupted by Greg over time, adding to the tension and fear factor of the mod. You want those diamonds? Greg wanted them more. But now in this update, that just doesn't work. What? 90% of the time? You want those diamonds? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Breg. There is one downside to this update. Breg is supposed to be a sort of tutorial character, giving you tips and tricks on how to kill... Um... Himself? Uh, meaning that every now and again, pop-ups will block your screen until you close them. And if you say they weren't helpful, Bregg will smite you into oblivion! But the solution to this conundrum is to just say that they're helpful, which appeases the almighty Breg. And that's literally it. Bregg never shows up again for the entire game. The only other time you see him is when he's dying. Like, actually, he's just gone. He's, he's not in it anymore. Bye, Bregg. And this time, I didn't have to waste hours of my life figuring out how to defeat Greg because I already knew how. Because I'd already done it. Leaf Tower. So this time, my first step in my preparation plan went like this. Oh, that looks good. Now, something I didn't mention is that if you tell Bregg you're not interested, he will become angered and begin chasing you. Slowly. At first, I decided I would let him do this because I wanted to give him a chance to kill me. But after only a few minutes, regardless of whether or not he catches you, he summons a Bregg wall around you and traps you in the nightmare dimension, killing you instantly. I was not a fan of this, so I sent him back to the nightmare dimension myself. With Bregg out of the equation, the situation returned to being a regular game of Survive Greg until they massacre you, a game which I'd already won. I knew that the key was getting all the boys shiny materials as fast as possible so that I could focus on getting leaves to ascend. Luckily for me, this Reddit speedrun seed was literally the greatest pick ever, spawning me next to a portal, a treasure chest, and even a mineshaft, providing me with almost everything I needed. And so I loaded up my world, but as I stood there next to the calm ocean, I felt a familiar fear creep into my bones. The fear of being hunted. The fear of being prey. But this time, I didn't let it scare me. I took that fear and I turned it into something monstrous. I turned it into pure determination and pure hatred for Bregg. And that's how I knew I could defeat Bregg Dodger. So you see how there's a... I don't know what that's called. It has a buried treasure map and that's where the treasure is. Crap. Lava. I don't need loads of leaves, just... God damn it, damn it. Oh my god, hurry up. Fire? I wonder if the creator of the mod saw my video where I used leaves and was like, you're not doing that. Now, I didn't say anything, but in this clip, a vague sort of unease was starting to wash over me, and I, I couldn't put my finger on why until I realized... 
Wait, I don't have enough obsidian. That is not enough obsidian. Oh my god, I need four more. Yeah, that's not cool. God damn you, Greg. Oh! Yeah, I died. But this next one will surely be the one, right? Right? Already? Not that I can't deal with it, but like, I can't deal with it. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah! Four Greg souls on one lava bucket. Oh, here we go. We got a Greg soul! How do you make it? Oh. Does that mean I need more... Oh. <laughs> so it turns out that you actually need three lava buckets. I didn't realize that. Which means you need three times as much iron. I didn't realize that. No, I know I said that Greg dot jar was easy, but the added requirements of needing Greg souls, diamonds, and now thrice as much iron meant that I actually thought that the run was over. I mean, as it was, I was only just scraping by with seconds to spare before Greg mauled me. I don't have time to go down into the mines and find iron and make a furnace and then smell it. I mean, it wasn't going to happen. And it didn't. It didn't happen. There really wasn't enough time to do that. The run was dead. However, I didn't need to do that. You remember how I said there was a buried treasure chest right next to spawn? Well, it dawned on me that we were right next to a giant ocean. I mean, there had to be more free loot nearby, right? So I swam over to this well and checked for any other hidden treasure chest, but there was nothing there. In the distance, though, I spotted another underwater well, so I snorkeled over, held my breath, and opened the chest, and it didn't have anything either. I neither did this well, or this well, or this boat, which led me to the same very treasure chest that I already knew about. So I thought, surely there must be something else in the water that could be hiding some iron. Something big, something grand, something like this giant ancient sea temple. Yeah, no. That's this evil fish was slaughtering me. I noticed something in the corner of my vision that my eyes had glanced over before. There was another shipwreck covered in kelp just a few blocks away from where I spawned. So I dived down, checked the chest, and there was nothing in it. Aside from this new buried treasure map that led me to a chest only a hundred blocks away from my spawn build with just enough iron to make three more buckets, yeah! Oh! Oh my god, are you being for real right now? Oh, okay. Yeah, I felt pretty stupid after that. I went in spectator and looked for a safe way to obtain the lava because I didn't want to look like an idiot by falling in the exact same spot and dying twice. Wait, again? Are you serious right now? No, what the... My life flashed before my eyes for a moment, but we're good. Hey, great. God forbid a woman mine her obsidian in peace. Yum. That's enough for me. Now, it was at that moment that I realized I'd pretty much already won. I had everything. All I had to do was wait. And aside from my blocks randomly going invisible, things went by without a hitch. I towered up, killed a bunch of Gregs. I was even so confident in my ability to win that I entered Greg territory just to collect souls. Like, I was not scared anymore. Are they suffocating? Are they killing themselves? What? This creature sucks. I think they just killed themselves. It's definitely not as hard as the first time I played it because the first time I played it, I had to learn so much about the Gregs. But um, this time, all I have to know is Greg equals lame. And that's it. Do, 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 do. And you see how easy it was? That was it. You probably expect me to be like, but this is where it all went wrong. But no, even though the world was ending, I was chilling. When we get to the Greg dimension, we're going to use these leaves and we're going to tower up. We're going to build the Greg... Uh, uh, proper gule. And yeah, we'll be out of there. Is Greg? Oh, shoot. Okay. And uh, I'm sorry for deceiving you, but this is where it all went wrong. Ah! Uh, the Gregs were levitating me through the air, and if I fell, I would surely die. I'm mentally prepared to go through this ordeal again, but as I plummeted to the ground, the Gregs what? caught me. What? Yeah, I was just messing with you. Shockingly, nothing went wrong. Bye, Greg. Oh, Jesus, what is killing me? What? Oh, Greg is banishing the world. Or, or maybe... What just happened? Banish Bragg to the underworld. No one likes Bragg. Ew. Anyway, yeah, we did it. Save the world from Bragg. I wasted so many hours of my life in this mod. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye. Projectile Bragg Ball. What the hell is the Bragg Ball?